Oh, listen to that. What's that? You farm. What's what? Well, hello gamers, welcome back to Let's Talk Gaming and today we are playing some more Through the Woods and uh, if you remember it correctly, last time we found some clues and Espen's mother uh, was quite sure that uh, Espen is leaving even more clues, more uh, reflectors and we ended up somewhere here at this little cabin. So let's continue our adventures. Uh, I'm still pretty impressed with the game. You have to know that this isn't really a huge... Uh, how should I call it? Gaming house that made this. It's more, uh, yeah, probably an indie more. And with that in mind, I think they did a great job. What I have seen so far looks... Oh, I did see an open or something. What I have seen so far looks great. Now, I thought I had seen an open thing somewhere. No. I'm pretty sure I have seen something. Maybe it's the door inside. I have no idea. Uh, there is another door here. Yeah. That's probably what I have seen. So, more swords, more shields. But nothing special, really. Pick up what's there to pick up. I knew I had seen something. What's this? piece of rope ring of birch brothers I found I found a ring of birch Escaladon and the princess hmm no idea maybe I will be needing all those uh, things to complete some stories later on so better keep an eye out for some of those and, and, and just pick them up you never know they might be use useful at some point Okay, I think we found just about anything we could find in here. It's time to head through this little cabin or house. Exit on the other side. So, do I see anything special? No. I'll have to continue down the path up until we see something new. And for the time being, I will be following the path... The wind, I, I quite it really. I've been telling this quite a few times already, but I think this game uh, has its atmosphere from uh, actually the sound effects, the little things, the little effects like you hear her breathe through her nose, sniff her nose from time to time, and no ooh, thunder. It's well done. It's uh, nicely done. So I'm gonna follow the path and see if I can find something special down the road. I see some strange stretches or uh, formations up here, so maybe I should have a look. No, it's just uh, some dead trees. Okay, let's walk this way. Yeah, it's the fallen tree I had seen. Nothing special. But still, uh, as this is an adventure game, it's always worth checking out things which look uh, a little bit strange, a little bit um, out of the usual, different. Because they might, they might get... Ooh. Mirkstadt. Oh, maybe this is your progress? I have no idea. Mirkstadt. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably your progress. Once you get to one of those stones, maybe it's a... a quick save? Oh, spooky. The thunder. 
Well, the the huh. the road is splitting. So there is one path heading that way with a little bridge, and there is another little path heading this way. I'm gonna check this one first because where? Eh, just because I can. <laughs> that's that's a as good a reason as any other reason. Oh, listen to that. What's that? He farm. What's what? Yeah, what's what? Oh, look, there's like a light up there in the distance. You see, on top of the the little rock, well, little rock, it's uh, probably a big rock, but since I'm pr pretty far away... I think I'm at the end. I'll have to go back. Yet yeah, nothing I can do up here. Hmm, so... I will have to cross the bridge. This looks strange too, this structure, this stone thing. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna walk back to the bridge. Oh no, this, this goes even, even further. I was here earlier. I was already thinking what's glo what's glowing up there, but that's the path I came from. Espen! Yeah, Espen, where are you? It can't be far ahead. Well, you'd probably be surprised how far ahead they are. Uh, oh, the mountain looks cool too. I'm just gonna continue down the path. and see what happens. Now you have to admit that <laughs> these things sounds pretty good. I will be heading into a cave apparently, but yeah, I'm gonna check if I can see or find something outside of the cave yet. Yet uh, first, mm, nothing special. So time to go inside this cave. I think it's getting darker too, or that's maybe just my impression. Of course, I have no idea. I still wonder what I will be doing with the things I picked up already. Shit. The old bastard must have pulled the bridge across. Too far to jump. I'll have to go down. Too far to jump, so I have to go down. Okay. Yeah, too far to jump. Uh, for those of you who watched my uh, Ark Survival Evolved videos, they know that uh, <laughs> jumping is not my <laughs> my strong thing. Uh, I missed a few jumps in Ark Survival Evolved as well, killing myself and killing my well my dinos. So I'm <laughs> I'm not gonna try to jump this. If they say it's too high or, or too far to jump, then it it probably is too far to jump. And I'm gonna trust them. Look, more runes. Runes. I can't read them. So read runes, so I'm just gonna move up. I'm heading deeper and deeper into this cave. Oh, look up there. I see some light. No, I can't get up. Oh, that's Esp 
Espen's flashlight. Mm-hmm. Espen's flashlight? Well, at least then we have a flashlight. Light. His jacket too. No. Espen. Please don't hurt him. Please. Don't you hurt him. I'm coming, Espen. I'm coming. Oh, I finished probably a little part of the, the game now. I have absolutely no idea how big the game is actually. Maybe it's just a few chapters, a few little things. Maybe it's huge, I have, I have no idea. So I came out on the other side of uh, the cave and... Yeah, we'll have to continue my uh it's been must be cold without his jacket. Yeah, I guess so. Continue my travels. When I saw Espen's jacket there on the ground, I felt like something inside me broke. I suddenly realized that this was really happening. He'd been taken from me. His coat, his little coat, lying in that dark place. I was his mother. I was supposed to protect him. He trusted me and I let him down as I had so many times before. His jacket was a symbol of my failure. I promised myself I would find him and I would bring him back. I just hoped that was a promise I could keep. It's a promise you have to keep. And uh, press left click. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I have the flashlight now. That's true. So I can use the flashlight to look into the dark and see what's hidden in the forest. Shh. No, seriously. Um. Oh, you look, look. Did you see? I saw something jump in the distance. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I saw something jump in the distance. It jumped that way, in the direction of uh, where the flashlight is shining. It could have been a rabbit, but it looked like uh, something a little bit bigger than a rabbit to me. Mm. Oh, I bet you soon I'm something will jump out of the woods and I, <laughs> I start screaming or something. It was scared the heck out of me, I'm pretty sure about that. Okay, uh, I'm telling you I have seen something jump. I, I swear to God I have seen so something. Now you can call me crazy or you can just rewind the video just a little bit and, and see that I... I, I will do the same thing. I'm pretty sure I have seen something, but I can't tell you what. It wasn't a rabbit. That's something I'm sure. It it looked like yeah, I should say a, a hobbit. No, a hobbit is a little bit a goblin, maybe. Well, I have seen something. Now it be it will be pretty funny if uh, in a few seconds I see a rabbit, because. <laughs> I really had the impression that it was bigger than a rabbit. Uh, I, I'm not seeing anything now. Oh look, what's that? I, did I come from there or...? I see a light up there. I'm gonna continue down the path because I'm pretty sure if I go towards the light that I will end up at the cave where I was started a few minutes ago. Nothing else to see for now. Can I actually get a little bit close? No. I see a wheel. Now 
nice little lake. Let's have a look at the lake. Hmm, nothing to see at the lake. No, I can't head that way. No, this is locked too, so I will have to go this way. Walk around the lake. And ah. mm. Ooh. Tersfic. Huh. This is not a part of the story or what wh what? Oh, <laughs> oh, really? I, I, I swear to you guys, I'm getting shivers. <laughs> it, it's, it's a strange feeling. Like, like, uh, yeah, the game is pretty immersive, if you ask me. It's, it's like I'm really in, in the forest and hearing things and and, not really being able to see a lot. And that's. That's what makes you think there are things around while, yeah, probably you just hear the wind in a tree, but still, since you can't see a thing, oh, the road is going up. Uh, I'm gonna check around here first because uh, if I go up, ooh, what was that? Oh yeah, that's the the road back to the lake, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Ah, oh, the, the, the road is splitting up. I don't know if you have noticed, but a little bit earlier I was able to go up top and uh, yeah, this, this path has taken me completely in the opposite direction, so I'm wondering what I should be doing. And where Espen went? Oh! Did you hear? It's like something jumped out of or into the water. <laughs> oh, nice. Big salts. I wonder what those things are. They, they they must mean something as well. It's like little parts of the story, but written in uh, Norse runes. It's like... I don't know. It's like, this is a god. These are men. This is a uh, strange creature. Can I get up here? No, I can't. So there is n nothing really I can do up here. I think they probably give you a little clue about the story. I'm not. I'm not sure. It's a. Uh, this game doesn't really tell you a lot of things. It's. It's. It lets you discover every, everything yourself, and you have to figure everything out yourself. Which isn't. Uh, well, it's fun to do, but it's not all that easy. There. There. There really aren't any clues you get. Okay. Now I will have to walk back. And uh, I guess now I will have to take the path up to the mountains. Oh, you see? You see there, there. There is something. You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, crap. I'm in trouble. Oh, crap. I'm in deep trouble. Yes, I am. Let me... Oh, ah. No, 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 no. I need to run up to the... Oh, not good, not good. Not good. Ah. 
Is it coming closer? Yes, it is. Um. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Run, run. Yeah, yeah. You maniac. I wonder what would happen if, uh, if I just stand still and it gets to me, but I don't want to try it out. Well, let me try it out. It's not doing a thing. Okay. Um, no, <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> yeah, I had to try it because maybe maybe it was just part of the story, but yeah, it wasn't. Um, I have my flashlight, right? I didn't lose. Oh, yeah, I have my flashlight. Okay, so I'm gonna head back this way and and check back yeah walk back to the little island because I think I have to lure him away from the path and try to get him I try to run past him I think mm. So this is where the island with the swords is. Yeah, I heard it correctly. The, the thing I heard was probably the creature that's chasing me. Mm. I'm going to be very careful now. Yeah, there he is. You see the eyes? Ah, uh, I need to... to trap him or something? coming run 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 I, 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 uh, uh, uh. come on run 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 yeah. it's a pity because I'm quite sure I was not running it I, I I I tricked it the first time but then I got curious and uh, I got killed and uh, I have to start all over again.
Oh yeah, I think I made it. I think I did make it. Oh, run, baby, run, run, run. Yeah, I think this is the way. This is the path up. Let's keep our fingers crossed that we don't run in. Oh no, this isn't the way. Oh no, 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 no. He's catching up with me. Oh, I hear him. I feel him breathe. Ah oh, no, 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 no. I don't want him to. I couldn't even. Oh. Why was I so curious the first time? Why? Okay, I'm gonna go try to head. Huh? What's that? Oh, there is even. I didn't even spot that yet. Oh, cool. How did I miss that the first time? Oh, rotten. Fuck. Those are human. Yes, they are. And of course they have note. A troll, a cursed beast. And the fool I am to have entered here, though perhaps, or mayhaps I'd find a hair or two in the troll's lair. Ready killed and skinned. Looked for the dry stamped creature first I crept in and saw no slime. Fool, I heard it coming too late. Caught me there gathering its balls. Creature shambled in dragon two bleating sheeps by the leg. How I didn't hear it earlier I won't leave on long enough to know. Dashed me twice against the wall and left me mourning as it ate the sheep. Legs broken, jaw hanging off. Doped I'll see the morning for it remembers I'm here. The fool I am for her. Where you who finds these my last words? Okay, well. Famous cool. last word. But what? Yeah, there is a troll. Uh, no way to escape, I think. Oh yeah, under here. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I hope I'm not running into the troll now. I hear something. Well, that's one way to escape the troll. <laughs> Go through its cave and... Check what happens there. Oh, I'm, I'm at the lake. I really am at the lake. Now, where did I enter and exit the cave? Oh, I can't really remember. Uh... I'm pretty sure it was here somewhere. Ah, I should have paid attention. Here? Ah, Tom. Oh, there maybe. Yep. But I can't get in, I think. At least not this way. Oh yeah, I can, I can. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, I lure him this way. And from here I'd head into the cave maybe. 
Yeah, I think that might be it. I just have to pay attention that I find the cave bag. And that one is here near the broken tree. I think. Yeah, and can I get inside from here? Yes, 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 I can. So I'm gonna try to lure the creature up here. Now, where is he? Hmm. I can't see him now. I hear it, but I can't see it. No idea where it is, and that scares the heck out of me. I'm 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 heading up up the mountain. I can clearly hear it, but I haven't seen it this time. That's strange. Yeah, this is where I was earlier. One path is leading Tursvik and the other one is like scratched out. Ah, this will be A bad idea, I think. But still, I'm gonna check it. <laughs> you know, I'm always up for bad ideas and uh, adventures alike. Yes, I see a door. No way to open. No way to open it. So, I will have to go back a little bit and take the other road. And that was somewhere up here. No, a little bit further maybe. Yeah, must be somewhere up here. Oh no, I'm back at the lake where I started. Oh, not really, not really. This path is going up the mountain again, so that's good. I know how it sounds, but it's true. All of it's true. I can't explain it. I can hardly believe it, but... But it happened. The moon. When I was young, I found some photos of my parents in an old shoebox at their house. I was looking for Christmas presents. They looked so young and in love before I was born. I remember they didn't look like the people I thought I knew. There was something different about them I couldn't understand. I was lifting a veil and I knew these pictures weren't for my eyes. The island was like that. The journals, the troll, the broken moon. I wasn't supposed to see those things. I was intruding on something secret, and I didn't belong there. Yeah, well, I already know I didn't belong here, but... Uh, if you want me to find your son, then I have to be here. I still hear the troll, and I haven't seen him yet, but... It is scaring the heck out of me. Uh, I have to... Hmm. No idea where I'm heading, but I'm, I'm having the impression that I'm running around in circles by now. It's like... Yeah, this path will probably be leading up to the big door. I thought, yeah, you see? So I'm running around in circles. Uh... I'm gonna have to go back to the little lake 
and then take the path in the other direction. Uh, there was a another path. Yeah, this is probably where the, the road splits, where you had the two signs. Yeah, okay. So it's that direction. I have to go back to the little lake. And instead of following the lake to the left, I will have to keep running to the right. Yeah, in that direction. What's this? Oh, I thought it was a boat again. Yeah, that direction, I think. So... Uh, Heading up a little bit further down the mountains, well, up the mountains this time. Uh, as we noticed earlier, sometimes there is a, a little path to the side which is difficult to see, just as we had with the entrance to the troll cave. I think I ran past it at least four or five times before I noticed, well, before I actually stumbled upon it. I didn't even notice it. I just uh, followed the path and it was there. What's There is like two lights up there. I have no idea what it is, but since... Uh, oh, the sounds again. I'm gonna go check the cabin just to be sure. Um, there probably isn't a thing here, but... Uh, oh, read. It is said knocking looks in the waters near here. Can't say I've been one for such a fancy full stories for yester eve. So a small grassy hillock resting in the water, the lake's usually smooth as glass, so I rubbed my eyes and looking again, and by the gods I swear I saw a pair of eyes staring out at me through the tangle. Yeah, that's what I noticed as well. Two lights maybe. I blinked but the hillock was gone with a ripple. I shuddered and bent back to me to me work. But then there came a bubbling in the waters right near the shore and clump of really tendrils dripping mud came searching from the lake. I sprinted away from to my cabin, glibbering, thinking what kind of gnostic creature might follow those weedy fingers. This said you can rid yourself of knocking if you speak its name. Thought that something could give a creature like that a name is near enough to drive me mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing I have seen wasn't a creature. Oh yes, it is a creature. Uh oh. No idea where the creature went, so uh, I'm just gonna continue my search for Espen, I think. Mm -hmm. As long as the creature doesn't uh, jump me from the water, 
I should be fine. Oh, look. A termite hill. Mm. Huh. I'm not sure if I can get up there, but I have seen some lights. Or was that just... Let me check again. I'm pretty... You see? On those are lights, right? Yeah. I'm gonna have a look. Oh, that's one hell of a of a chest. Uh, maybe some food cooking? No, nothing. Nah. The thing living here must be a giant. Well, if it's a giant, then he will... <laughs> now, if you look at the chairs, the chairs would make you think it's a giant, but uh, the room inside isn't big enough to host a, <laughs> a giant. Strange. Very, very strange. Is there maybe anything inside? The chest? Nope. No. Oh, some gold coins. Well, okay. Uh, I'm heading back out. And I'm going to try to find the rest of the path and follow it. It's probably just uh, following the, the lake again because I, I, I went and saw... S oh. You see, I, I'm, I'm telling you I've seen things in here. And now I heard something in the water. Hmm. There's another reflector. Oh yeah, one here. But you're alive. Don't be scared, little man. I'm coming. Let's continue our adventures just a little bit. Really, I'm starting to like this game. It's it's a uh, yeah, an adventure explorer type of thing with a, a nice influence of, of Norse mythology and, and stories. But it's also a little bit scary. Like the sounds make you really feel like you're inside the forest on your own in the darkness. And that's that's it. It gives a little bit of a, I wouldn't say a horror touch to it, but a scary feeling. It's like you have to pay attention to uh, every sound you hear because uh, it could be a little bird, but it could also be something big and scary. Mm. Ooh, saved. Nice. I can read those? Oh no. The water, there was something in the water. Yeah, I know there is something in the water. Ooh, my flashlight doesn't work anymore. And now it does. Okay, I think I'm gonna take shelter in here. Uh, let's see if I can get inside this house. Maybe I will find another clue. But uh, yeah, maybe it's also a good time to wrap up today's episode. Uh, we've been working on this for a bit now. Oh, something else. What's uh, this? Uh, a wedge. Brothers, I found I found a wedge. Now, I think if you... Probably if you know... Uh, if you're uh, from uh, Norway or the uh, Nordic Islands, you probably know some of those... Uh, folk tale and the, the clues you get the little things you pick up are probably part of the folk tales so you probably get a little bit more out of this game for us well 
it, it doesn't really bring a bell that the wage doesn't ring a bell to me and I don't know the story but still it's a little bit scary and I like it <laughs> but I think maybe it's uh, it's time to wrap up today's episode since we found a little spot up here where we might be safe not quite not quite sure yet but uh yeah i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did feel free to hit the thumbs up button and if you have comments or suggestions you can post those in the comment section below the video and if you would rather get in touch with me personally that's also possible you can find me uh, through the different social media channels for which you will find links in the description as well Last but not least, you can always hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me reach my next subscribe goal, but you will also get notified when I post new content to the, to the channel. So that will wrap up today's uh, Trude Woods uh, adventure. And until next time, have fun and stay safe. Bye.